Pokemon Go binder is almost complete, which is why every day this week we're uploading a Pokemon Go opening. Make sure you click subscribe and watch us complete the entire master set. Hazel, you want to be on the channel? You're literally a full grown dog now. I don't think the audience realizes you're not a puppy anymore. You don't like destroy the plush toys in front of everybody like you once did. <laughs> What's crack lacking everybody and welcome back to what is another Unlisted League video and we are back with everyone's favourite part of the channel. I mean no one's clicked subscribe because of me, they literally all said Ando, you've had such bad luck at finding these Pokemon Go cards, you gotta bring in the one thing on your channel that can guarantee success with these remaining Pokemon Go boosters. So I'm gonna set each of these piles of Pokemon Go boosters back here and you've gotta sniff out whichever one has the better pulls inside. Then I'll go and open them and we'll have a pack battle. So you just gotta sniff out the better pulls, okay? Leave a comment, Team Ando or Team Hazel. And that can be your entry ticket into the giveaway. You can either win all the cards from Team Hazel's side or you can win all the cards from Team Ando's side. So you ready? You just gotta sniff out the better boosters. Which one has the better pull? This one or this one? Or, yes, okay, sniff it around, sniff it around side A. Is that good? Oh, she's munching side A first, so that's, you know, that's gonna be the hazel pack. Let's see what I've got inside first. I'll go first, eh? Seriously, guys, I can't imagine it's gonna be that difficult to fill in the final blank spots inside of my binder right here. Like, look at that. That's pretty doable for one video, surely. And you know what? I'm sick of everybody in the comment section. No one picks Uncle Ando's side, so everyone that's picking Ando's side, you're about to win all the polls that I'm about to get right now. So hopefully, I'm about to get you, like, a bunch of rainbow rares that I don't need, a bunch of gold cards. I'm about to complete my binder, the remaining six cards, and I reckon there's something on the very first booster. <sighs> okay, here we go. Uncle Ando's already so sick, but if I can get something else, I might actually have a heart attack on this booster because I've been so unlucky with the set. We haven't got anything we really needed for the binder this week. So if it was all to change in this booster, I would- OH MY GOSH! I literally told you, Hazel, I don't know what you were thinking, dude. I don't know what you wanted to do. Stop. If it's a rainbow rare or a gold card, I am done. Oh my goodness, another Times Square Mewtwo on the first booster of today's video. Radiant Venusaur and the Time Square Mewtwo on the first booster. Two really good hits. You know what? I'm gonna give them away to someone that picked Uncle Lando in the comment section because I've already got both of those cards. I know they're really valuable. I know everyone's like, Ando, that Mewtwo's worth like 50 bucks, why don't you sell it? I'd rather give it away to people to watch this series because it's been a blast. Like getting to make a whole week long Pokemon Go series opening is such a cool thing. So yeah, I, so I appreciate people that pick Ando as well because everyone picks Team Hazel in the comment section. Anyone picking Ando, I appreciate. My voice is breaking as well. Spinarat, got the Pikachu. Chansey and a regular Holo Tyranitar. I don't know, was this a thing for anyone else? Like, if you got sick and, I don't know, you had to do the grocery shopping with your mum because you were off school, did you always pester her for a Pokemon booster pack? Because that's what I did as a kid. If I was sick and mum had to take me grocery shopping, all I would think about, how can I get mum to buy me a Yu-Gi-Oh booster or a Pokemon card booster from the store shelf? And I literally remember, it's like around the Sky Ridge era this was happening. Exatsu and a Venusaur. I do remember shopping for cards around the original base set era as well. Like I remember seeing a base set booster box at the local hardware, I think it was like electrical and hardware store. But I would like, I think I got into it around the Team Rocket era. I have so many memories, but yeah, let me know. Was that a thing or do you still do it? Like when you're sick, you try to get your parents to buy your Pokemon cards? That's a big thing for me. All right, we're gonna pit off. Oh, no way! It's a, uh, it's an unpeeled ditto. And a Gyarados Holo. Shout out to my team. Okay, you know what? Let's peel it. It's the first deal of the video. Hazel, I don't know what you're doing, buddy. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. Come on, guys. That's three hits. And Hazel, I don't know what you think's going to be in your 25 boosters. But let me tell you, it's not going to be anywhere near what we are pulling so far. How do you even try to one-up a Times Square Mewtwo, Shiny Venusaur, and a ditto. I don't know. Okay, we got Darkness. Got a Chansey as well. Got the Soul Rock. Okay, Charmander. Eevee. Got the Natsu. AB Pom. Raticate. Chansey again. And a Moltres. You notice we're like doubling up a fair bit on those reverses? Here we go. Here we go. This is something as well. 
But why are we seeing the rainbow rares or the gold cards? Like, and if it's a gold card, I swear it's always the same one. It's always like, uh, I don't know, the lure module's pretty common, but I've got a couple of those Mewtwo's now, which is weird. I'm doubling up on the more expensive cards. Don't really make any sense, because those rainbow rares seem they're so much harder to pull. It's not a Charizard, nah, it's Charmeleon with the classic Conklador V, which seems to be in every single opening we're doing. But I'm gonna take it, because you know what? That not only goes into the Uncle Ando giveaway pile, but gives us another point to take the victory away from my dog. Ever since she was a puppy, has been whooping my booty in these Pokemon card battles. So I'm hoping I get a victory today. Everyone, just, just imagine that in the gold card. Please, we're gonna manifest it. I don't manifest much in my life, but I need the gold version of that card. Bit of, here we go, Wimpod. Not a Charizard, Charmeleon, and it's... I swear, every time I see this Dragonite V-Star, I see the silver border, and I was like, this is it. It's Rainbow Rare season. Uncle Ando's finishing my binder. And it's another Dragonite V-Star. Ah, uh, stock standard. But look at that, it's got the texture on there. It's going to you guys at home, so let's put it away. Probably one of my more favorite V-Stars. I do love the Dragonite to get a uh, decent selection of Pokemon. Dude, it's another one. Is that gold though? That would be awesome. If I can secure a gold card, I think I should be able to take the easy W away from Hazel there. Rare Candy, got the camera up. Can't wait to show her all our pulls. Can be shaking in her paws. Eevee, Numel. Got a Glossopod. Ah, oh, slacking V card. So not a gold card, but you know what? Another V. So either <laughs> Hazel's pile is going to be really, really bad, or it's going to be like off the charts good like this one. Or I think you get double the points if you can manage to get a pull that I actually need for the binder. I think that'd be pretty huge. Charmeleon, Rare Candy, got the War Turtle. Pit up, trying to fly away. Got the Meltan, Eevee. Pikachu, a Spinarax normal without the Ditto logo, and Holo Lapras. Not many boosters remaining. Out of what once was a really solid looking pile, and what a surprise, still not quite anything that we need. Got the V-Star logo, so we'll go three from the back. We got Lunatone, Chansey, Ivasaur, Squirtle. Remember when like the V-Star marker was supposed to be like a big thing? Like when you saw, oh my goodness! Stop what I'm talking about. We just pulled the shiny blast toys, which means if I get the Charizard, I've got the trio. What's behind it though? Sylveon Holo card. That's not too bad, but oh my goodness. What is my luck today? I'll take it. Radiant blast toys, shiny Venusaur, full art Mewtwo times square. All right, let's keep it moving. Whoever's picked Team Ando, I just want to say, I've done you proud for once. It's not often Uncle Ando comes out on top, but I just can't for the life of me think there's anything Hazel's going to be able to pull to top this. Unless it gets all the gym leaders or something. Ah, that'd be funny. Gets like Spark Rainbow Rare, one of the, oh, I thought that was something. One of the hardest cards to get. Bidoof, Onyx, and Sylveon again. We're doubling up with the Hollows. How is that even possible? Yep, that might be a V card though. It's hard to tell. Sometimes when I see the V-Star marker, I sometimes think like, oh, that's 100% something, but let's have a look. We got a Spark, Magikarp, Meltdown, Eevee, Pikachu. What do you reckon, Blanche? And the, we're getting every V here. I suppose if you like win the giveaway and you're collecting Pokemon Go, fantastic start right here. Okay, Melt Metal. You're all, you know what I also kind of want? And we haven't seen much of? Conklador or Art. Gorgeous card. One of my favorite all arts in this whole set, and I haven't seen much of it at all. Rare Candy, Raticate, Tranquil, Lovitzar, Natsu. Anyone think that was Shining uh, Venusaur? I did for a little bit. This is it, this is it, that's it. Ando's gonna come home. We've got a fantastic start. I think that's gonna save us. How good our like, start was right here, but the ending, oh no. Okay, Mel Okay, that was a metal type, Pupita. I think there is something in the back of this one though. I just saw a shine. Got a Squirtle, Bidoof, Onyx, Bib Barrel, and it's another Mill Metal. Okay, double up on the Mill Metal. That's back to back. I'm gonna need something. Hazel's getting a gold card for sure. I can definitely picture this coming up. Just watch it. Texture card after texture card. I don't know how she does it. It's like she sniffs out the lines in the card or something. Lore module. Don't want you in a gold form at all. Abipom, Slowpoke, Bib Barrel. And a Blastoise. 
Oh no. <laughs> okay. Swing. I hope you guys are getting good stuff in those code cards, by the way. Let's go. Metal. This is something as well. Candela. Lunatone. Got the magic up. Meltan. Pikachu. Not a Charizard there, but a Moltres. And a Dragonite V. Big fan, like, fan favorite. A lot of people like the artwork of this card. Dragonite doesn't miss. To be honest, like every Dragonite card looks amazing. And I always love seeing him in the anime. Makes my day. All right. You to the side. There's the code card. Four from the back. It's the final five after this. Literally, that's it. Chansey, Ivasaur, Unfezen. Come on, dude. Bidoof. I wouldn't even mind another Ditto card. Apom. Meltan. Blast Toys. And a Gyarados. Fifth to last booster pack. Okay. There's the goat as well. Four from the back. Oh, snap. I reckon this is something for sure. There was a crazy shine. Don't tell me it was like a reflection off the booster pack. So I reckon there was an insane shine right there. Slowpoke. Onyx. Please. I'm seeing things. I've got like uh, double vision. No. Fourth to last booster. I swear that was like a rainbow red. See? There's shine. I s and that could... Very well, that could be like uh, a bleeding hollow where the hollow's accidentally gone right to the uh, bottom of the card there. But I swear I saw something. I reckon it's actually a bleeding hollow though. I don't think this is a rainbow rare or anything like that. Numel, eradicate. <gasps> no way! No way! Ladies and gentlemen, we just pulled Charizard Shiny! I knew it! I literally knew it! So you got the hollow bleed right here because you can see it on the bottom of the card. You see that? There's like hollow bleeding to the bottom. And then a Radiant Charizard in literally 25 boosters. I have pulled the Holy Trinity. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur have all been pulled. I really honestly think there is no physical way you can beat these 25 boosters. Everyone that's picked Team Hazel, I don't know what you're doing. You've stuffed up. You've picked the wrong team. Blanche, Team Ando was where it's at. Pikachu, Meltan, Spinarak, Charmander. It's just another hit. Slacking V is another hit to add to the counter. And another card to add to the giveaway. Because little Timmy, who's winning this giveaway, oh boy, he's getting something good. There's the uh, V-Star marker. Three from the back. <gasps> oh, there was a, there's a full art. There's a full art. There's a full art. Pokestop, Steelix, Wimpod, Pikachu, Squirtle, Meltan. Oh, no! If it was a Rainbow Rare, I would have died. It's so close. Full Art Professor's Research, which is such a tough card to pull. It is fantastic. It's going to go awesome for the giveaway. Oh, I need this in a Rainbow Rare. This is ridiculous. We are on the good stuff. Quite miscut, though. Like, look how thin this is and thick that is. Guys, no freaking way. So this could probably be nothing. I don't care. Then we have to do Team Hazel's pack next, and... And it's not looking good. Okay, Blanche, Slowpoke, Bibarel, Pikachu. Maybe you get a Ditto card? Nah. Alright, Hazel. Let me show you the pulls that I got. Can I show you my hits? Like, if I put... So, like, we got a Venusaur. Oh, it smells pretty good, doesn't it? I also got a Charizard, and I hate to break it to you. We got the Blast Toys as well. What are your thoughts on this? Like, I literally got all three Radiants. You just snooze it. Well, look at this. I also got a Time Square Mewtwo. We got uh, Melmetal. I got a Ditto card. We got so many hits. I got 13. How are you still? You're still not fast. Do you reckon you can win? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Hazel was a little bit too confident right there. I mean, we managed to get 13 hits out of 25 boosters. And you really reckon she's going to get 14? You think she's going to get 15? Which is like, I don't know. That doesn't seem possible because... I feel like we did really, really well in my selection of packs, and now we got these Hazel packs, and to get more than that, that just seems like getting way too many hits, so I guess we'll give it a go. <sighs> We're going to open all Hazel's boosters now, because apparently the paws don't open booster packs, but we'll see how she goes. Got a bit barrel, and she starts with the Charizard. Not too shabby, I suppose. I reckon Charizard's a nice holo card. Probably one of the better, like, holos you'd want to pull, but Hazel, I hate to say it. Uncle Ando did have the better start. Now, I'm keen to see everyone that picked Team Hazel in the comments section. Who's gone against Ando? And who's picked the worst team? Who's going to partner up with my puppy? Oh, okay, here we go. Got the Charmander. Soul Rock. 
And, uh, Hazel, that, that seems like a regular Hollow Sylveon to me. I don't know. If, uh, if I was leaving a comment, I'd hate to be picking Team Hazel right now. Two Hollows in a row. And no, I can talk as much smack as I want, okay? She gets to talk all the smack downstairs. She gets to have her own little subtitles. And she gets all the love in the comment section. Uncle Ando can talk as much smack as he wants, all right? Got a bit barrel, a spinner racked, a pit of regular reverse blast. Oh, Mel Metal Hollow card. Have you seriously just given away the audience? Oh no, that's a hit. That's it. Oh no. Okay, Ando's got to stop talking. That's a hit. Okay, all right. I, I take back everything. Let's just make it a casual V. If it's a full out or something, I'll give you bonus points, but this is not good. Okay, you need to get literally more than 13 hits. And it's starting now, isn't it? Bibarel, Rattata, Numel. I've talked too much smack at the beginning. Oh no, it's Dragonite. It's a good V hit as well. Okay, you get the hand-drawn Dragonite. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop clapping. I know, she did okay, okay? Is this where we start seeing a turn around? Is she gonna get, like, uh, a couple of good hits now? Or are we going back to the Hollowville? Let's have a look. We've got four. Swinging around. We got Metal Type, Egg Incubator, Soul Rock. Got a Spark. I heard Spark Rainbow as the literal toughest card to pull. <gasps> oh no, Hazel! Dude, I'm getting really nervous right now. Oh no, kidding. That is a, that's a pretty good pack. She's gonna got the Radiant Shining Venusaur pull. Are you feeling good about your Hazel team selection right now? I hope there's a uh, tracker or something on screen right now. You guys are keeping track. One point here, one point there. It's all gonna add up. And you know what? You still got a good mountain of boosters to go, so it is a bit terrifying. Water type? The thing is as well, is like, the Radiants sort of come out of nowhere. You never expect them to be coming in to save the day. And yes, I count the ditto hit as a point, so... Oh, no, why did I say that? Why did I say that? It's literally a ditto card. All right, you know what? I'll do what I did to mine. Yeah, 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 Hollow Venusaur. Let's peel this one back a little bit. Oh, no. Ah, oh, look at that. Hazel is matching up with me perfectly right now. My ego can't suffer another loss to my dog. I have to go around town saying, yeah, my dog beats me in my pack battles on my own channel, in my own videos quite regularly, guys. You think I, ca I can't do that? All right. Go to darkness. <sighs> okay, let's go back to the hollows. No need for another good pull. Onyx, Eevee, Charmander. Okay, that was close. That was too close. Too many fire types, I'm thinking that Charizard Radiant card's coming out of nowhere. She has pulled already a couple of Charizard Hollows. Okay, four from the back. No more hits. No more, okay, just Hollows for the rest, that's fine. Even if the viewer retention goes away, I don't care. I don't want anything else for the rest of the video. Anyone that picked Team Hazel's about to have big regret. Oh, okay, it's a Mewtwo V card, and it's one that I didn't get. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting a bit worried and let's keep moving Surely there is not too much like You're getting V's you're getting shining cards. I wonder if she'll get any full arts though I won't be mad if Hazel gets a full art card that I need like that is generally something that I'll be stoked at because either way It just seems so difficult to find those cards But if she gets a full art that I've already got I'll get a bit worried just like the Times Square Mewtwo. That was a ridiculous pull I still actually can't believe that I got that Okay, so we got a fighting type, camera up. What's Hazel gonna get? Maybe she like summons a lot of Sylveons or something like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. We didn't need a second one. There was no need for that. Are you kidding? And a Blastoise. Why is it always Charizard of Blastoise that's like behind these Radiant cards and Venusaur? Oh no. Who's picked Team Hazel? And are you a Venusaur fan? I wanna know. She's got two Venusaurs in a row. Which means one more Radiant, she's got the same amount that I pulled. And it's like not even halfway, I don't reckon. That's probably the worst part. Okay, four from the back, we got a Psychic type. Charmeleon. Don't show me a Radiant, please. AB Pom, Raticate, Lavatar, Rattata. Oh, it's so close. We have the Charizard Reverse and a Venusaur. It's a lot of starters. Then again, I suppose that's what Pokemon Go, the Pokemon card set, has going for it. It's like, the starters are what makes up a lot of the fun at the beginning of the Pokemon Go game. Plus, like, you know, the Dragonite was a classic, hunting that down. The Mewtwo when it came out in raids. Onyx, Bibarel, Meltan. It's gonna happen, is it? It's gonna be Radiant for sure. Nah. 
Okay. I just don't want to see a ditto either. The ditto being a hit is going to, I think, do me over. So far, though, I feel like pretty confident. I still feel like Uncle Andrew's going to take home the fat W. And uh, we're going to have the superior giveaway at the end of the video. Here we go. We've got a spinner rack, which isn't the ditto. Alright, camera up to reverse and a Snorlax as the regular holo. I reckon we're officially about halfway. Probably a bit more than half. Oh, no. Oh, no. There was a hit. I saw it. Yeah, there's a hit. There's a hit. Oh, no. Come on. Let's just make it a quick little, like, V card. A little slacking V or something. Nothing too big. Spinner Act, Rattata, Wimpod. Oh, no. Are you serious? Another Times Square Mewtwo. Hazel, Hazel literally has superpowers, I swear. There is no way that she's picked these 25 boosters. What? She is dangerously close to taking out the dub right now. This is a joke. Maybe the rest is duds. Maybe the rest is has nothing in there. What? It's pulled another Times Square Mewtwo. I'm like struggling. Like, generally, like, how does that even happen? How do you pull two of the really expensive cards? There's the V-Star marker. Surely there's nothing on this one? Ariado, Steelix, got the Eevee, Pikachu, Squirtle, Spinneract. Nah, Blastoise as the Holo. That's what I thought. Alright. Let's go back to a couple of those bad boys. What do you guys get near the Hazel's codes? She sniff out good code cards or not really? Be honest, you can you can let me know. I won't tell her. Alright, so we got Ariado, Tranquil, Lavitsa, Natsu. This isn't going to be anything again! Yes! Alright, alright, alright. The dub could be coming. What worries me is if you get a Radiant and then you get a hit as well. Like the double hitters, because then that's like, you know, double the points. Not good. But as we whittle away at these packs, I'm feeling like the hits aren't so good. Swing it around. I think I'm taking home the fattest W of the year. Oh, this is my year for sure. Rare Candy, Crumpet, got a bit of Onyx. No. There is no way. There, I refuse to look at it. I'm not looking at the card. I refuse. Are you kidding me? There is literally no freaking way. There's no way this happened. This doesn't exist. Did Hazel just get select the Illuminati of boosters? These, like, Pokemon Go openings have been the most mind-blowing openings I've ever done on the channel. Like, I hope you're enjoying the series. Giving it a thumbs up because some of the things that have happened, I don't actually understand. I know I know you guys in the comments, everyone that picked Team Hazel is going to be like, Endo, you're like, superior. Hazel picked the better one. She got three in a row, three Venusaurs, compared to your, like, trio. I think my trio is better. Uh, you, maybe if you're a Venusaur f Did anyone else think for a minute that was going to be Shining Venusaur? I was going to die. If we get another Venusaur, I will declare it a victory. Because there's no way you should be getting four in 25 boosters. Like, that just, it doesn't happen. That's... Then again, you shouldn't have to open 500 boosters to still be missing Pokemon cards from the set. That also shouldn't happen. Lunatone, Pokestop, Spinneract. Is there something here? Wimpod... Oh my gosh, I have a heart attack. I am now more worried about the reverse slot than I am the final slot. Alright, open this one up. I reckon if there's going to be a, just a regular bunch of boosters now with a few holo cards, we should be able to win this. Pupitar, Candela, Charmeleon, Eevee, Pikachu. Got the Squirtle. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <sighs> another hit. She is low-key swinging right now. I don't think it's enough though. Is that four? Yep. Four boosters remaining. She got another one. It is pretty cool. I will admit the fact that my dog can somehow sniff out decent Pokemon Go packs, but we got an unlisted leaf booster. Fourth to last. Ixatsu, Candela, Bidoof, Charmander, Apom. Nothing on that one. Melmetal. Third to last pack. Everyone in Team Hazel, you're shaking in your boots or what? Let me know in the comment section. Four. Swing it. Lightning. Slow, bro. This is... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Bib Barrel. Eevee. New Mel. Eradicate. Dude, my gosh. All right. A Alolan Executor. I'm going to tally this up at the end because I don't have the little tracker like you guys do right now with the points. Okay. 
Open this one. I ripped the door off. I don't care. Swing around. Second to last booster pack. And I also love that we went this whole video and still didn't pull anything. 50 boosters opens. I still haven't made a dent in my blinder at all. Pogistop, Steelix, Pitov, Onyx, Eevee, Spinarat. Oh, Charizard reverse. I think we got it. I think Uncle Ando's going to win this. You imagine this is an error pack? It's just all ultra rares. Not today, little Timmy. There's the uh, code guard. Four from the back. Let's see what we can't do. There's a hit at the end. There is a hit at the end of this one. Hazel. Incubator. Come on. A palm. Nah. Oh, it's Melmetal V. You end it with a V card. But is it enough to secure victory? I don't think so. Alrighty, Hazel, I hate to break it to you, but I think you've lost the Pokemon Go TCG bat. What are your thoughts? Do you have any... You don't care. Alrighty, guys, so pretty much on the recap right here, I mean, Hazel did a pretty gnarly job because I've never pulled three Radiant Shining Venusaurs in one go. Maybe she likes Venusaur more. I mean, we have got the Times Square Mewtwo and a couple of Ditto Bangers, but come on, Uncle Ando surely won this one. I got more hits, three more than Hazel. I got all three Shiny Radiants minus the Eevee one, full up Professor's Research and a Mewtwo and a bunch of V hits. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section who won this battle, but I think Uncle Ando's taking the victory. But if you left Team Hazel or Team Ando, these are the prize packs that you could be entering into. Alrighty, Hazel, I know you didn't win this time, but do you want to say goodbye to everybody? You don't care, do you? You're like, where's the rest of the chicken? See you guys.